There is a place within the depths of hell called Mel Bulge, all of rock dark stained with hue ferruginous, e'en as the steep that round its circling winds. Right in the midst of that abominable region, yawns a spacious gulf profound, whereof the frame due time shall tell. The circle, that remains, throughout its round, between the gulf and base of the high craggy banks, successive forms ten trenches, in its hollow bottom sunk. As where to guard the walls, full many a foss begird some stately castle, sure defense affording to the space within, so here were modeled these, and as like fortresses e'en from their threshold to the brink without, are flanked with bridges, from the rock's low base thus flinty paths advanked, that cross the moles and dikes, struck onward far as to the gulf, that in one bound collected cuts them off. Such was the place, wherein we found ourselves from Giorians back dislodged. The bard to left held on his way, and I behind him MLV'd. On our right hand new misery I saw, new pains, new executioners of wrath, that swarming peopled the first chasm. Below were naked sinners. Hitherward they came, meeting our faces from the middle point, with us beyond but with a larger stride. E'en thus the Romans, when the year returns of jubilee, with better speed to rid the thronging multitudes, their means devise for such as pass the bridge, that on one side all front toward the castle, and approach St. Peter's fane, on t each other towards the mount. Each diver's way along the grisly rock, horned demons I beheld, with lashes huge, that on their back unmercifully smote. Ah! How they made them bound at the first stripe! None for the second waited nor the third. Meantime as on I passed, one met my sight whom soon as viewed, of him, cried I, not yet mine I hath had his fill. With fixed gaze I therefore scanned him. Straight the teacher kind paused with me, and consented I should walk backward a space, and the tormented spirit, who thought to hide him, bent his visage down. But it availed him not, for I exclaimed, Thou who dost cast thy eye upon the ground, unless thy features do belie thee much, Venetico art thou. But what brings thee into this bitter seasoning? He replied, Unwillingly I answer to thy words. But thy clear speech, that to my mind recalls the world I once inhabited, constrains me. Know then twas I who led fair Gisela to do the Marquis will, however fame the shameful tale have brooded. Nor alone Bologna hither sendeth me to mourn rather with us the place is so o'erthrown that not so many tongues this day are taught, betwixt the Reno and Savina's stream, to answer Sipa in their country's phrase. And if of that securer proof thou need, remember but our craving thirst for gold. Him speaking thus, a demon with his thong struck, and exclaimed, Away! Corrupter! Here women are none for sale. Forthwith I joined my escort, and few paces thence we came to where a rock forth issued from the bank. That easily ascended, to the right upon its splinter turning, we depart from those eternal barriers. When a rift, where underneath the gaping arch lets pass the scourged souls, pause here, the teacher said, and let these others miserable, now strike on thy can, faces not yet beheld, for that together they with us have walked. From the old bridge we e wide the pack, who came from th other side towards us, like the rest, excoriate from the lash. My gentle guide, by me unquestioned, thus his speech resumed, behold that lofty shade, who this way tends, and seems too woebegone to drop a tear. How yet the regal aspect he retains! Jason is he, whose skill and prowess won the ram from Colchos. To the Lemnian Alice passage thither led him, when those bold and pitiless women had slain all their males. There he with tokens and fair witching words hypsipily beguiled, a virgin young, who first had all the rest herself beguiled. Impregnated he left her there forlorn. Such as the guilt condemns him to this pain. Here too Medea's injuries are avenged. All bear him company, who like to see to his have practiced. And thus much to know of the first veil suffice thee, and of those whom its keen torments urge. Now had we come where, crossing the next pier, the straightened path bestrides its shoulders to another arch. Hence in the second chasm we heard the ghosts, who gibber in low melancholy sounds, with wide-stretched nostrils snort, and on themselves smite with their palms. Upon the banks a scurf from the foul steam condensed, 
encrusting hung, that held sharp combat with the sight and smell. So hollow is the depth, that from no part, save on the summit of the rocky span, could I distinguish aught. Thus far we came, and thence I saw, within the foss below, a crowd immersed in ordure, that appeared draught of the human body. There beneath searching with eye inquisitive, I marked one with his head so grimmed, twere hard to deem, if he were clerk or layman. Loud he cried, Why greedily thus bendest more on me, than on these other filthy ones, thy can? Because if true my amiamri, I replied, I heretofore have seen thee with dry locks, and thou Alessio art of Luca sprung. Therefore than all the rest I scan thee more. Then beating on his brain these words he spake, Me thus low down my flatteries have sunk, wherewith I ne'er enough could glut my tongue. My leader thus, a little further stretch thy face, that thou the visage well mayst note of that besotted, sluttish courtesan, who there doth rend her with defiled nails, now crouching down, now risen on her feet. Thais is this, the harlot, whose false lip answered her doting paramour that asked, Thankest me much. Say rather wondrously, and seeing this here satiate be our view.